Hey Libra, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nali A.K. Awatero, and I'm here to give you guys your weekend reading. We're going to tap into this energy, see what's going on with you guys for the weekend. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all your love and support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, let's see here. As you all know, these readings are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does. Leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. There is no genuine tarot. Please reverse the roles as may be. Uh, cross watchers, you're always welcome. And if you want to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. Don't forget to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. All right, guys, let's get started with your message for the weekend. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is the message for Libra this weekend? Oh, quite a bit. Two of Wands, King of Cups, and Page of Wands. So what I'm getting here, Libra, is that there is a relationship that you haven't um, uh, seen any commitment from this person, okay? You love this person, you have a lot of emotional ties to this person, but with that page of wands in the reverse, you feel that this person is not communicating, um, at least not in the proper way. And with the two of wands here, I feel that this weekend there's going to be a clearing of a path here. There's going to be a decision made in regards to this situation. Um, some of you guys may be considering reconciliation this weekend with this person. I feel that you guys may have not been communicating for a while. This is crazy with the Tower moment and the Ace of Pentacles here. Okay, so this is going to come in out of nowhere. This is definitely going to come in out of nowhere, um, this reunion, this reconciliation. But some of you guys may question how stable the situation is going to be. Should you really give this relationship another chance? It is going to be a Tower moment. It is going to be a surprise when this person comes back around. For some of you guys, you haven't been communicating with this person for a while now, Libra, and they're deciding to come back towards you. But, but when this person does come back towards you to reconcile and reunite with you, you're going to be questioning how stable is this person? How stable is this commitment really going to be? Is this person lying to me again? Is this person keeping secrets again with this king of swords? What is this overall person's intention? You're going to be questioning a lot of things. You're going to be happy to see this person. You're going to be very surprised to see this person. But at the same time, you're going to be like, uh, I'm not sure. Because you're tired of a lot of things that you've went through already in the past with this person, with this nine of wands in the reverse. You're tired. You had given up on this person a long time ago, and I don't know where they're coming back in here. So you are questioning that. With this Four of Cups, this person is going to come in here and express the fact that they don't want to miss this opportunity with you, that they want to reconcile. They want to connect with you emotionally. This person in the past disconnected emotionally. They physically literally moved their, removed themselves from a situation here with you. I feel that you were dealing with somebody who you may have been married to or possibly shared a home with, and this person just decided to emotionally check out, and they moved. Well, guess what? This person is coming back in here and wanting to have a passionate new beginning with you. There's going to be a lot of communication. I honestly feel that you will be reconciling this weekend with this person, with the soulmate, with your twin flame, whatever whatever term, terminology you guys use. But I feel that you're going to end up reconciling with this person this weekend. And some of you guys may allow them back home. Okay. Let's see now what else in the works. Yep, total reconciliation, harmony, balance, reconciliation like this. Something's getting ready to change this weekend for you guys, and it definitely has to do with a reconciliation here. <laughs> You're going to take this leap of faith. When this person comes in and communicates to you that they want another, another opportunity at rebuilding this connection, Libra, I feel that you're going to take that leap of faith. You're going to trust your intuition. You're going to trust this person for the last and final time, and you will take that leap of faith. And little do you know, this leap of faith is going to lead into so much success, so much stability. But again, you will be questioning this person because you're not sure if they're coming in here with lies, deception, 
instability and you're really not having it. So your guard is going to be up a little bit when it comes to this person. You are going to be questioning um, this person's intentions. But at the end of the day, this person's coming back in to put the work. Okay, This person this time around is very seriously, but they want to work on this connection. I feel at the time that you guys were in separation, this person this person realized that they were literally putting not, no effort into the connection. None whatsoever. They were giving you these teeny tiny pages or this page of pentacles. For some of you guys may have a child with this person. I don't know why. I, I think a boy. You may have a boy, a child with this person, a little boy. But um, I feel that in the past, this person wasn't putting... Let's, you see, this, you may have a boy and a girl at this point. But this person was putting very little bit of attention in the situation, putting very little bit of work, and at the same time, not really being too emotionally connected to you. This is what forced you to remove yourself from the situation, rest and heal and rejuvenate, and it forced this person to do the same thing. And after this whole time of separation, after that, you guys are coming out of this Eight of Swords energy, where you're releasing the toxicity, you're releasing the past situations. And I feel that for some of you guys, you are going to be able to let things go from the past and move forward. Like you are going to give this situation a, a honest um, an honest chance, like a truthful chance, like a, a, a solid chance this time around. This person's coming in here and they're going to communicate that they regret what they've done to you in the past. They regret not putting in the work. They regret not speaking the truth. They regret not being truthful to you. They regret not giving you the respect as the queen of swords that you are. Like They regret a lot of things that they said. And this person is coming in here to communicate that. Yep. I feel this person in the past was was very non-committal. They were just in and out. Like they they didn't they didn't have a purpose before. Like even though if you guys may have a child with this person, you know, at the end of the day, it's it's not the fact that you're a parent if you want to be a grown adult. Some people have like 20 kids and don't ever fucking get it together. Okay. And I feel for this person, it was more or less like, you know, they had to deal with some personal issues before they get they could they could really commit to you and the family. Okay. They had to. They had some karma. They had some debts that they had to pay. They had to resolve certain things that they were going through in the past before you came in the picture. Okay, and now this person that they've cleared that space, they've cleared that negative energy out of their life. Now they're coming in here as this pre empress, very independent. Okay, ready to build a solid connection here, single. Okay, physically, mentally, emotionally available. Okay. With the person that you're going to get ready to deal with now moving forward is not the person that left years ago, maybe even months ago, okay? You're, come, you're going to deal with the person who is literally in the same physical body, possibly a little bit more healthier looking, but a total different person from the inside, totally different with a different mindset, a different way of approaching stuff, even a different way of expressing love, okay? So this person that's coming in here for reconciliation may just end up blowing your mind. Okay, you at the beginning are going to be kind of like, eh, I don't know what your intentions are, but this person is going to prove you wrong. And they're going to show you that they are coming in here to put the work in the connection. All right, guys, I hope and pray that this reading gave you clarity. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if you want to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. Have a good one.